you can find a lot of crazy conspiracies being spread online. But do the people spreading them actually believe them? Take a look at some videos from this YouTube channel, Yahweh Rules. Actor Martin Lawrence is dead and cloned. Latino singer Selena was a Luciferian demon. Friends sitcom cast members are transvestites. All US presidents are black women. Proof. These types of videos caught the eye of members of internet forum Kiwi Farms. As a clone demon tranny I find this all to be highly offensive. At least make your insane videos 10 minutes long to get that glorious ad revenue. I thought Taylor Swift was a Nazi, now I find out she's a possum. What a world. This has to be some sort of high level humor or something. They were able to link Yahweh Rules to some other YouTube channels hosting similar videos. Yahweh's Daughter, Yahweh's Servant, Demon Master 813, and Yahweh Rules 2. The creator of Yahweh Rules 2 was Alex Tillman. Did he really take a selfie at a goddamn library? Alex had no affiliation with the people who ran the other channels. He was just copying their videos and re-uploading them onto his own channel. You know, that's why I've copied all these videos from Yahweh Rules' channel, you know, put them online and I'm combining them, you know, with uh, my own videos. So. Alex's original content consists mainly of vlogs, where he talks about whatever's on his mind. Hi, my name is Alex. This is my first video. Sorry if I like freeze up or something, you know, I'm kind of nervous. So, uh, anyways, yeah, yeah, I'm a real human. Um, yeah, yeah, my videos, you know, probably aren't as entertaining, you know. Demon Masters or Yahweh rules, you know. But hey, I'm a real human, and you know, I'm not going to give you any bullshit. I'm going to, you know, tell you the truth. So, yeah, I suggest it's not good for your mental state, you know. Like, don't really listen to like Alex Jones or uh, Yahweh rules or Demon Master. This bullshit when they say like half the population are demons. Nope, and I'm in Oklahoma City, and uh, Pretty much everybody is a demon. The topic of demons comes up in pretty much all of Alex's videos. Hey, it's me, Alex, again. Um, yeah, I'd like to point out about what, you know, before I knew about the stuff, you know, my experience of, uh, you know, how demons, you know, mess with you. Um, anyways, my mother, you know, she is a demon. Then I went over to my, you know, dad's house for a little bit. And, uh... Yeah, he, uh, I didn't know right away, but eventually, you know, I found out he was a demon too. My brother, you know, was there with me too at that time, and, uh, you know, I didn't know he was a demon then, but, uh, he kind of gave me some hints, though. Like, he, uh, you know, blinked his eye once, and, uh, yeah. I'm the only human in my family. A bunch of asshole demons will, you know, pull in front of me on the road. Yeah, these demons are everywhere, man. Everybody in this fucking mall is a demon. It'd be great if I had a human roommate so I don't have to live with some stupid demon. Yahweh Rules is actually, you know, a fallen angel, but I copied his videos, you know, from his channel. Um, yeah, to get my channel started fast, and I'm not super really into this YouTube stuff, so I'm kind of using him as a base for my, you know, channel. Alex believes that he is the only real person that he knows. Hey guys, it's me, Alex. I'm just making this video to show to you that, you know, I'm a real human, uh, as you can tell. I got a flat forehead. I don't have a pointed chin. I got broad shoulders. You know, I got a cleft right here. I don't have a small mouth or anything like that. So you're looking at a, uh, you know, real human and, you know, I'm good looking, so, uh, you know, only real people are good looking. And his face over there. Definitely not human, as you can tell. Uh, I have a brother. He's not human. He's not a tranny, though. He he's not bad looking. Uh, anyways, uh, not as good looking as me, but, uh, you know, I mean, he's good looking. According to Alex, demons have ways of signaling themselves to you. Hey guys, it's Alex. I'd like to talk about, you know, the hand signs of the demons and fallen angels. First hand sign is uh, their index finger. 
you know, uh, which is saying, you know, you're one with uh, Satan or the Illuminati. Yeah, if somebody is doing this or something, see it forms a pyramid or even just one or even their glasses, like, you know, adjusting their glasses or something, just making a pyramid. Yeah, see them there, making pyramids. <laughs> yeah, you see that woman pointing her finger on her chin, making a pyramid and pointing her finger, saying she's uh, one with Satan and the Illuminati. And I see that lady right there just made a pyramid right there. See, that kid just made a pyramid right there. He just made a pyramid. See that kid just, he keeps doing a pyramid. See that? That guy just gave me a stare right there too. The demons have a variety of ways to screw with Alex. I kind of hear banging around sometimes. That's them making noise, you know, against me. See that woman right there just threw something in the trash can right next to me, make a loud noise right there. See, you can hear them making noise back there. This happens to me wherever I go. Yeah, Satan can, uh, you know, make things louder. You hear how loud that truck is? Satan, you know, can control the weather, you know, he'll make it rain on you anytime he wants. See, that person just flipped me off and honked their horn. You see that shit? I don't know if you saw that, but that guy just did move his hand. He's making fun of me for jacking off right there. Yeah, they do that to me all the time. I run into a lot of smelly people, and uh, I think that's another way Satan gets at you is just sending smelly people your way. Anything, you know, can be generated. So a smelly person could be generated or something. Uh, Demons will sniff at you eventually. After a while, after you found out about this, they'll also cough at you as well. I've been coughed at, sniffed at by like everybody, like everybody's against me. I bet there's been an attack launched against me. Yeah, I hear them coughing at me. <laughs> See, that guy just coughed at me right there. Not only are people demons, but the animal kingdom is as well. Dogs, you know, they aren't even uh, dogs, they're demons. Cockroaches, those are demons too. Cicadas with demons inside of them. A spider would not act that way, and uh, you know, of course it's a demon. There's a squirrel again. Look, it's following me. I swear, everywhere I go, that thing's following me, man. Yeah, it's uh, a demon, not possessed by a demon, but a demon. Look at these gnats following me. Demons in them. And there's another squirrel right there. And you hear that uh, kid right there? He just coughed at me, too. Demon children are always trying to screw with me or whatever, you know, and piss me off. But the worst demons of the animal kingdom are birds. Yep, demonic birds right here tormenting me, you hear them? Birds aren't birds, they're, you know, demons inside of them. Hey, what's up? Anyways, I'm gonna, you know, expose uh, these uh, ducks around here, how they're demons. Owls were hooting at me at night and stuff. Uh, I don't really think that sounds normal, do you guys? Hear them? They're not regular birds, man, they're demonic birds. See, look at the birds acting funny. Look at that bird over there just shaking his head crazily. Look at that one, he's running over there. These are all demons. They've been laughing at me and shit. See that bird, it's laughing at me. Hear it? See that duck just laughed at me over there, see that? Laughing at me again. There's no escaping, you go to the woods to escape the demons. Well, guess what, you're gonna be tormented by demon birds. Yeah, I recorded, you know, my television that was taken over by Satan. It's super crazy. It, like, takes you to a whole nother world. Hey, it's me, Alex. I'm going to turn on my TV and show you guys that Satan has taken over my TV. It's so important that it's such you a notice how they're unfriendly and stuff, how it's not normal? Uh, they definitely are normal. See how they're being weird? The backside. See, they're talking about me exposing them. This is total craziness. It's definitely not normal. Totally taking over my TV. And I've had like a guy just constantly stare at me on the church channel. By the way, speaking about movies and TV and stuff, they actually, Hollywood made a movie about me. It's called Bottom of the World. It's on Netflix. Hey, there's the movie right there about me. Bottom of the World. In the movie, the main character, named Alex, feels like he's losing grip on reality. 
He sees and hears things that no one else does. Demonic figures. And a guy just constantly stares at him on the church channel. I mean, I'm having like all these, you know, crazy thoughts like, you know, maybe I'm in some movie or something like that. So, yeah, um, so these uh, clones, uh, the transsexual clones. In addition to being demons, Alex also believes that most of the population are either cloned or transsexual. My mom, you know, she got cloned. My brother, you know, he's a clone. My, my mom has two sisters. My mom and her sisters all got cloned. My cousins for my mom's sisters. They're all, uh, you know, trannies. Yeah, as you can see, I'm putting the sign on my car, Demons and Clone Transsexual Bodies, YouTube.com, Yahweh Rules Channel. And my dad, he's a demon, a tranny. Put a uh, vinyl decal. Yeah, Demons and Clone Transsexual Bodies, YouTube.com, Yahweh Rules 2 Channel. I also got it on the sides of my car, both sides. And I also got one on my uh, hood. And as you can see, there's like bird shit on my car. Those demon birds have been shitting on my car. A flyer that Alex posted around town caught the attention of local LGBT website, The Gaily. They reached out to Alex for an interview. I'd like to get started by getting your perspective on your mission so I can gather a better understanding of your goals. I've seen your flyers and car driving around. What do you hope to gain from posting your message around Oklahoma City? I am trying to find real people out there. Everywhere I go, there is nothing but fake people. I know my channel is rubbish right now, can't make good vids at the moment because I'm in a bad situation at the moment. In the near future I will be able to make some awesome vids and improve my channel. Getting the truth out is all that matters. I don't understand what message you are trying to convey. Could you explain it? Well pretty much the entire population are transsexual clones or robotoids. Satan turns men into women and women into men. It's hard to know unless you are aware of it. Most of the population was never real because for thousands of years real people have been cloned and replaced by a demon. All this shit is proven on my channel. It would be funny if all this was bullshit but it's not. So, if I understand you correctly, the devil is responsible for the transgender community? Yes, I doubt there is a real person that is a tranny, but I am not focusing on trannies. Regular men and women are trannies. I don't hate gay people just so you know. From our perspective, it seems as though you are targeting the trans community with your flyers and videos on YouTube. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it appears as though you are comparing a transgender person to a demon. I'm actually not even talking about trannies, I'm calling regular men and women trannies. But yes, the regular trannies are demons as well. I checked out the Gailey, and saw the article on me. LOL. I promise you I'm not dangerous. Ha ha. The Gailey spoke with the Oklahoma Police Department this morning regarding the flyers. Residents are encouraged not to engage with Alex directly. In a subsequent video on his channel, Alex reveals something concerning. You know, while I was there, you know, I was finding something else to do, you know, for work. And, uh, you know, I decided, you know, I already had like an armed security guard license. So I, you know, decided to go get my armed security guard license and I got it. And, uh, you know, I started working for a security company. It's in the middle of the night, like two in the morning or something. Yeah, I'm a security guard and uh, watching the place. And uh, since I've been out here, you know, these birds have been harassing me for hours, you know. So, you know, I'm at work. I shouldn't even be filming this place, but hey, I gotta expose, you know. In addition to now being licensed to carry a firearm, Alex's video started becoming more unhinged and confrontational. I deleted. Kick, Kick me out then. Take your hand off me, man. Come there comes security right there, probably to intimidate me or something. And I think he's right behind me. He's actually following me. So. Well, are you gonna pay your tab or not? What? Are you using that card to pay your tab? Yeah. So can I rent your card? Yeah. Oh, I'm just making a YouTube video. 
Well, unfortunately, you just don't allow recording on private property at the mall, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I understand. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll have to stop recording, I guess. But, uh... Well, you need to kind of put it down, you know. I understand you're just trying to get a reaction, but it's not going to happen. Hey, don't get your hand off me, man. What are you doing? I'm asking you to stay in the lobby out here. You get out of my face, man. Sir, you would not touch him. Did you, you just put me? your hand on me? This is, the, this is the manager. You would never touch him again. You understand me? Once you pay your tab, you will leave. You understand? I like hands on people. All right. So once you pay your tab, you will leave or we will call the cops, okay? Yeah. All right. Fine. So once you get your tab, you will be considered trespassing. But you're not going back okay. here. Yeah. Uh, can you speak up? I can't really hear you. It's a little noisy. No, that's fine. Uh, if you're going to keep recording, you need to leave, unfortunately. Before what? You need to leave, sir, if you're going to keep recording. All right, really, can you speak up? It's really loud around here, man. I can't hear you. Why are you recording? Uh, I'm making a YouTube video. So let me tell you something, you're on private property, we're asking you to leave. If you don't leave, we're gonna arrest you for trespassing. Now you got that on video. Um, yeah. Well, I guess I'll be on my way out of here, I guess, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll see you guys. Did you have a good time? No, I didn't. Oh, that's too bad. Well, don't come back. Don't worry, I don't want to, man. This place well, fucking sucks, man. because you didn't have a good time, so why would you come back, right? Exactly. Super. But this will make a great video, so. Uh, sir, if you come back on property, you will be arrested for trespassing. Just wanted to give you a verbal warning. Yeah. For how long is that? Permanent. Permanent? Yep. Oh. Nice. Oh. I'm following you guys. No, yeah, I'm following you, actually. I'm so going to follow you, man. Going. Keep going. I'm going to follow you. Sir, keep going. I'm going to follow you out, sir, man. keep going. This Here, you can follow me. You want to okay. follow me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're going to go in right up behind me. That's all right. Yeah. You're unauthorized taping comics against the law. Of course, of course I am because, you know. Uh, it's against the law. I understand I don't really care, dude. I mean, if, if there's a if there's somebody if there's a demon in there, man, like uh, acting crazy, I'm gonna get it on film and I'm gonna put it on YouTube, man. I'm not gonna let you guys get away with this crap. Make sure what crap? All you demons, man. Hey guys, it's me, Alex. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's been a while, like a, a few months or whatever, since I've advertised my channel on the streets and stuff in Oklahoma City and uh, La Jolla, so. Uh, Anyways, uh, yeah, you know, I've just been going through a lot of demonic attack recently and stuff, and, you know, I just haven't heard from any real people. So I got frustrated, and, you know, I was fed up, and I just fucking deleted my whole entire fucking channel. All my videos are fucking gone. You know, I deleted them all off my laptop and stuff, too, so. So, yeah, I'm definitely losing it. I really can't go on. I really need some help. Please, a, a real person, please help me. I really need you guys to get in contact with me. Phone number is 405-269-4291. I've also been, you know, suicidal. I mean, I mean, there's really no point in living if I can't find a real human. <laughs> I don't see any humans at all. Corner uh, them like an a uh, animal and leaving them uh, no choice but to fight or whatever. You're real. And don't be scared, you know. Don't be afraid of getting, you know, killed or anything. You're watching Two Works For You at 10. Her phone, I called Louise, nobody's answering. They said, me and her talked right before I had to go to work. <laughs> work. Now at 10, emotions still raw as family and friends reunite after a night of terror. Police say the shooter, 28-year-old Alexander Tillman, randomly selected Louis Grill and Bar, which was packed with patrons at dinner time. Police say last night, the gunman stood right here in this doorway and started shooting into the restaurant. And authorities say he was wearing safety gear, earmuffs and glasses, the kind of equipment you would see being used at a shooting range. That's Tillman in a video posted to YouTube last month. In it, he rambled that his refrigerator was attacking him and he was hearing noises. 
really, really bad right now. So. We learned today that Tillman was licensed to carry a weapon as a security guard. On the evening of March 24th, 2018, Alex stood at the entrance of Louis Grill and Bar and began firing indiscriminately into the restaurant. Three people were caught in his crossfire. 15-year-old Alex Spiegel, 12-year-old Saniya Giles, and her mother, Natalie Giles. There was a pop, pop, pop that went with it. Ron Benton was one of about 100 patrons who hit the floor and then ran for the exit. You're hiding between the cars. Where's the gunman, the well, suspect? Well, when we, when we picked him up, he was coming uh, through that tree line. After firing multiple rounds, Alex retreated to the edge of the parking lot. Juan Carlos Nazario was sitting by the lake nearby. After hearing the gunshots, he ran and grabbed his 40 caliber Glock from his car, then raced into the restaurant. Brian Whittle was driving by when he saw the commotion. He pulled over to see what was happening. He also had a firearm. Benton says he watched as two armed civilians, Brian Whittle and Juan Carlos Nazario, confronted the gunman. Police say they each grabbed a handgun from the trunk of their vehicles. They told him, they were like, put it down, put it down, put it down, drop the weapon. When I got here and started yelling at him. He, he turned to face me. And then waved my arm at him, and that's when he raised up to fire at me. Alex began firing at Brian Whittle. Whittle dove for cover behind an SUV. Juan Carlos Nazario shot Alex in the thigh in an attempt to neutralize him. Alex stumbled, but regained his composure and raised his gun to return fire. And as soon as I saw him, I just kept firing. Just pop, 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 pop. Whittle fired a total of seven rounds at Alex, and Nazario fired four. The police arrived shortly after and scrambled to sort out the situation. I get here. This guy's shooting this guy. They're saying this guy's the shooter. I shot him. Okay. When I get here, he's shooting him. This, all three of them jump on him. Hang on, stop. All three of them jump on him, I get all my gun point, everybody gets on the ground. After several confusing minutes, law enforcement had the scene under control, and the three victims were rushed to the hospital. By that time, Alex was already dead. And Jeff, I just met one of those armed civilians. He looks like he's still in shock. I mean, as he told us, I took the life of another man. He says he heard the gunfire and just acted on instinct. He's currently working as a security guard, but he told us he's about to start a new career in law enforcement. How do you know what to believe online? Some of Alex's videos could be interpreted as some sort of high-level humor or something. Check out this guy right here. He's actually looking at me. That ain't normal. See that duck just laughed at me over there. See that? Look at this dude right here. Creepy as fuck. Laughing at me again. But that wasn't the case. Alex reaches out for help multiple times in his videos. If you're a human, you know, leave me a message, man. I really need somebody. I really need some help. Please. Yeah, I mean, I really need a friend, you know, so I'm losing it. It's because I'm alone, you know. I have nobody to talk to, nobody to talk to me. How do you know when to step in? How do you know when to take something online seriously? How do you know what is real? Yeah, guys, I guess that uh, does it for this bit or whatever. Uh, all right.
really shocked me though. It just didn't seem like something you would do, you know. And like, yeah. Uh, uh, was your brother isolated? Uh, yeah. I mean, like nobody reached out to him, you know. He was crying for help, you know. Me and my whole family all thought that he should be put into a behavioral health unit and whatever, and that didn't happen. If that would have happened, this tragedy would have never have happened. Did you ever think your brother was capable of something like this? Um, no, but I did think he was capable of killing himself. He was suicidal for uh, several, several months, you know, and uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you.